So what's the Universal Plant Viewer about? It's first hand a viewer for the plant industry. It can handle models out of Smart 3D, Aviva PDMS, it can read IFC files and for sure also PDS is supported. So here we have the main view and navigation is quite simple. You can move the model around, you can turn it and you can zoom in. The screen is divided in several portions. On the left side you see all the functions. On top here we have a breadcrumb style hierarchy. So at any time uh, you can deselect the model and only select one portion of the model in the hierarchy. And now you see only that portion. On the right side here you see all the attributes from the element I've selected. So that's a vessel. If I click on that wealth here, you see all the attributes from the wealth. So you have the, the, the chance to clip out elements. So for example, if I click on that line, select the whole line, I can easily clip out that line to see only the line or add some elements that are around that line. So I isolate not only the line, but also everything in a near distance. What I also can do is I can colorize objects, so I select the vessel, give it a color, can delete that color, and on top of that, I'm at any time be able to load an external Excel file with a color definition and color the whole model based on that definition. So here now we have the, all the pipelines colored by their system function. I'm going to select the whole model remove the color and we are back in the original colors. So let me zoom in here and select that wealth. And here on top of the attributes, we have the chance to click on that ISO and it immediately jumps to the isometric drawing. And that has a fully in intelligent linking back to the model. So if I select that other wealth, it brings me directly back to the 3D model. Okay. So, same way, we not only can connect to the isometric, we can also connect to the PNID drawing to see the wealth. And also here, if I zoom out, go to another region, if I click on that pump, it brings me back to the 3D model where I can view the pump and all the attributes that belong to that pump. Another possibility is, based on attributes you see here, link to external web pages, documents. So for example, here I've uh, attached an equipment list. And if I click on that, a simple Excel file opens up. And now in that Excel file, I can search for my equipment. And if I click on any of those with a simple hyperlink, I can navigate the 3D model. So for example, let's click on the D240. It brings me back to the model where the D240 is located. Next thing I'm going to show you is our packaging function. So let's open it up here. So here we have the chance to create work packages to slice down the model into smaller chunks for various reasons. I've created one for that system. Let's have a look at the definition. We can define it either per volume. So if I click on the volume, everything that belongs to that volume will be included into the package. And we can also use attributes for the packet definition. And once my package was designed, I'm able to select all objects that belong to that package. Go, for example, to the colorize function, highlight that package. And here you see, all those objects belong to the package I defined. So I remove the color, remove the highlight, and we are back on our normal model view. What we also can do is, we can go into the plant and do a sketch on top of that model. What means a sketch? We have just some basic elements, and from those elements I can go in, place, for example, a ground blade. I'm able to build up a steel structure. So that's my platform. 
and I want to place a vessel on that platform and I can go into a catalog which can be freely filled with, with elements, go to that pump, select the pump and place a pump here. So what I can also do on top of that, I can create a second sketch. Let me just place a ground plate and one vessel. And now I have the chance to switch between my sketches here on the bottom and discuss about which variant you like more. You can save those sketches and you can export those sketches as a MicroStation DGN file for later use in your 3D CAD system. Okay, on top of that we have built in a centralized commenting system. For this you have to log in into a server and then you see all of the, the, the comments and for example here I have a clash. Now I go on show in model and it directly brings me to the position where that problem arises. And if I go back to my centralized commenting, now I'm able to view that comment. It shows me a picture when that problem arised. I see all of the information, I see my deadline date, I see the construction area, the responsibility and then I can handle it and once it's handled I can save it and then it follows a workflow with approval and so on and at every time I have full track of all my issues in the plan. We have also implemented a measurement function so just open up the measurement and then you get those two handles and just snap those handles to the object you want to measure and then you get the total distance and the distance in each direction. On top of this you have the chance to put that coordinate label and if you put it on top of that uh, handle here you get the exact coordinate of that handle. Another thing is just by selecting an element, just by drag and drop from the attribute panel, you can place labels inside the model. So to label your element, so let's go to that vessel. And here, for example, uh, I just go to the equipment type to label that vessel with the equipment type. So we have also a built-in center of gravity calculation. So as long as the attributes are available, you can go to the tools menu click off center of gravity and and now the model shows you the center of gravity and the approximate center of gravity. What does it mean? So here all the objects in green have a center of gravity and from there we can calculate the exact center of gravity while those objects in orange they have a weight but no center of gravity so we estimate the center by just the middle of the bounding box and from there calculate the approximate center of gravity. Uh, on top of that all the objects that do not have a weight at all are displayed in red so you, you know you have to fill in those attributes into your design tool to be able to calculate the center of gravity later on. Another thing we can do is we can report on any elements inside that plant and for that purpose I'm going to the tree hierarchy which can be freely defined at any point and I will place the task on top just to isolate the piping things. Here I click on OK. I'm just going in, click on a pipe, I deselect the whole plant and only select piping from the sulfur recovery area. And now I'm going on reporting on those stuff and therefore I open the simple reporting feature and here I select on those attributes I wanted to report on. I've selected pipeline entity, commodity code and so on. I click on OK, select the name for my report, click on save and the report was recorded. And now let's look how the report looks like. And once the report was created, that's what it looks like. You get the pipeline, the NPD, commodity code. And here we have a special column that gives you a count of all the elements that have the same attributes.